Oh. So we have reached our final react video. Day six, and we're. Are you graduating? Ending in day six. Yeah, we're graduating. Ah. You're now reacting to the K-Band Day 6 and two of their 2019 title tracks called Time of Our Life and Sweet Chaos. And the reason why I picked these two songs to be the last we react to on season 4 of Classical Musicians React is because I feel like we can relate them to graduating and ending an era together. <laughs> so first Get me out of here! <laughs> First, we're reacting to Day Six's song "Time of Our Life" from their 2019 "Book of Us" Gravity album. In an interview, the member Young K explained that the Korean title of the song translates to "It Becomes a Page in a Book." Oh. As we live our lives, we are writing pages in our own books, creating our own stories. Oh. The lyrics say, "Honestly, even to me, this moment right now feels like a dream because I'm with you. For this day, I prepared many things. All about you and I. Push back everything else. Now come with me. Take my hand. A page of our beautiful youth. Let's write it together." I want to fill it up, fill it with memories with you. Right. Are you crying a little? <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the song is composed by Hong Ji Sung and then the day six members Jay Sung Jin, Young K, and Won Phil. I had the time of my life. No. And I never oh, lived. Oh, great way to end with day six. My heart. I ha they have my heart. They have my day. They have my day. Oh, three, two, one. I like this. This is like the start to an anime. <laughs> it's that running motif. This just gives me very yeah. like um, 2014 high school movie. Hell yeah! Oh, he's good. I like that that muted guitar at the top. Hmm. All right. Well, now we're in a different key. That was crazy. I feel like we're on a plateau in a little bit, and I don't know if it'll come back to come where it was. Is that where we were before? What's going on? My heart. Oh my God! His transitions are so beautiful. This is the first time I've been able to like read the lyrics. I'm so sad. It really is. Uh, our books are. Oh. Our lives are just like a page. A page in the book of life. <laughs> That's a hard chant. Yeah. They're demanding more from your audience. You're like, yeah, we wrote a tougher chant than your usual. You have to follow it. Oh uh, <laughs> my god, sorry, what? I can't get over it. It's so beautiful and it adds to the song so much. Mm. Uh. I'm sorry, it's so good. Oh, I've never so heard good? it done better. Good feel, good sound. Oh wow, I thought it would have been twice as long. I love that melody! Ah, oh, man, that's so, that's so good! Oh, so much nostalgia! It's very sentimental and like fitting. Yeah. I'm, it's, mm, mm, I'm fine. This feels good and we're sad at the same time. True. <laughs> so yeah, real. the future, woo! -hoo! Let's all yell together, yeah! Okay. <laughs>
I think that was the most positive song I've ever reacted to on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that was so good. Wait, hold on. I want to go back and catch that modulation. Wait, hold on. Let's see how we get out of it. Wait, wait, wait I don't know where we are. <laughs> mm, that's the bass note. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a flat six, I think. Question mark? Who knows? Woo! It's definitely a finale sort of song. Mm. I totally get why you're why you're choosing this with the feeling of like a really satisfying ending. This this got that kind of like really it's like nostalgic in the present moment sort of thing. It's like I don't know, I just I really see it as something dramatic just happened and then we saw this grand climax to like a series we've been living or a series we've been watching oh. and then and then we just hear the first drum roll and then <laughs> it's like it's like yay now we can relax now we can celebrate and yes there's still uncertainty and there's still melancholy in some mm -hmm. of those chords you know there's a minor touch to it but for now we can rejoice and see what the future brings you know look, look at it with positivity yeah there's the aspect of Starting everything really quickly and making things really fast and everything taken really slow, especially sequences where things can be just completed by then. You could just end up with a cadence, but instead they prolong it with the sequence to elongate it. Oh yeah, there's like that repeat. It actually sounds like the fruit basket theme, but like fast. Da 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same. It's the same sequence. Yeah. I mean, I just it, it just it's reminds me of like my my whole experience on this channel because I I mean and I like I really have had the time of my life. At, I mean I have at this school and like man. Okay, deep breath. Being a part of Classical Musicians React really has, whew, been one of the highlights of my time here. And I'm so grateful for you, Emma. Oh, and Marianne, I love you. It's just, you know, I show so many people this side of me and everyone's always like, oh, I didn't know that you liked K-pop. And I'm <laughs> like, well, if you listened to it, you probably would like it too. And I really feel, that was like something that you showed me and you kind of were that first person for me. And I just think that all of the music that you um, show me and stuff has an impact on my, the way that I process music and the way that I bring my different biases to all music. And like, you've just changed me as a musician. And thanks so much. Do you? Do I'm you giving you a hug. That's such a like not cry -y song. <laughs> oh, it is in a way because what the other actors have described it as is like from it. it's like uplifting nostalgic. Yeah, it's, it's like, like the very end credits yeah. song. I feel like we hear rock band kind of stuff and we think of like our youth, our fleeting youth. Yeah, that's just like a page in the book of life. It's so good though because like if I've journaled before and if you've ever written things down and like you find an old journal and you read it back. Even even if like you were in the darkest place and you were writing really emo shit, you look back and you're like, did I really write that? Yeah. Oh my you're God. like, you know, like yeah. it, it, even if it was like you were depraved at the time, like you look back at it and you're like, I'm so much better now or like things are different now. Times change, like even though you may feel like shit, like it's still going down on the page and you can look back at it later and be like, look at all the progress I've made. So the next one, you know very well. More. It's gonna be Sweet Chaos. Oh, please. Oh, what? I'm just gonna jam. The song expresses the sweet chaos one feels as a relationship develops. The lyrics say they built up walls to protect themselves from feeling, but they found someone to love, and all those walls start to come down, resulting in feelings of chaos. But they say it's fine because it's sweet chaos, and I relate this to us graduating and us going into the world. <laughs> That's going to be very, very chaotic, but you know, it's gonna be sweet. Because yeah, life is just chaos, yeah. so just yeah. do that. Yep. This song is composed once control. again by Day6 and Hong Ji Sung. For the last time. Three, two, one. Oh, very dramatic. Did you catch when they started the track though? There's a moment of silence. Ooh. 
Ooh. That line's so cool. It just keeps going up. You don't expect it to keep like crawling around. Oh, the distortion in his voice. I like the kind of thickness, kind of like harmonica sound of their voices right now. Yeah. They're all so attractive. Just so preposterously attractive. I mean, okay. they didn't modulate, or did they modulate before? I don't know, my brain kind of shut down. I expected that to go down at the end. And I'm like, nope, not today. <laughs> wow, I love that chromatic, of course. Yeah, this is so true. Oh, that's also true. Hmm. Ooh, I like. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm down. Yeah. Whoa. I love when they catch the end of a vocal line with like octal harmony. It's super cool. Oh my god, yeah. That's why. Because we're going to B flat. There you go. That's why it sounds like a modulation. No, it goes to nice! D minor or F major. My bad. D minor or F major. Debatable. Me! Those leaps are representative of uncertainty for the, both the musician and the listener because those leaps are hard to hit. <laughs> oh yeah. And then just like slow it down and it's like, it's like almost too slow, just like tearing apart a little bit. And now we're nice. back in chaos. Harmonic minor, that's pretty. I like how this song is about embracing chaos, and they started off very prim, like their black shoes, so shiny and so put together, and the hair was all beautiful, and now they're just like that sort of thing, and their hair is on that stuff, and they don't care, and they're just kind of embracing the madness. They have this like electricity about their voice that I really like. No. Uh, I, so it's it is resolved. Well, this is like the greatest day six thing that the day six has ever day sixed. <laughs> it's got all the great melodies. It's got all the cool sequences used well, and the rock sound is everything. I think that's that's the primary reason. But just the writing is so energetic, and both of these. Wow, it's just such great experiences within single songs. Yeah, you've got some really cool like sirens in the background just at the very end too. That it's like, it feels so stable for a song that's all about like sweet chaos, but then you add in these like weird like sirens and stuff. And it's like, ooh, this is something else. This is, this is like how they introduce the, the like chaos into the actual music. I think this idea of chaos was definitely embodied because there was a lot going on musically all the time. Whether it was, oh, they're maybe kind of in a different key. Oh, there's like this weird like slide into a new note. Oh, the vocal line, like they catch it with some acapella at the end. So it like throws you off. And 
this kind of like chromatic rising line. I think this idea of chaos is embodied in this like musical chaos that has been orchestrated into it. So it was very apropos. I think it's a very beautiful note to end on because yeah. for me, there's a, a philosophy that everyone says that we're spiraling out of control. Mm -hmm. But in reality, it's I feel that as we navigate through our lives, we're slowly spiraling into control, finding out what who we are and like what means most to us. And we feel so uncertain right now and insecure and anxious about the what's to hold for the future. You know, in, in all of this, we have to have hope and that we are spiraling into some type of control or into some type of happiness. And in a way, you just have to buckle in and like enjoy the ride for, you know, after we graduate and what's, what's next for us. And so it's like, it's a really positive note for me to end on. So, yeah. Did you guys like Time of Our Life or Sweet Cows better? Oh, they're both so good. Yeah, How are you exactly. gonna like, I don't know. I feel like Day Six has like all these like really they're kind of different. Awesome, um, awesome songs. Oh, I gotta be the first one. You gotta be the first one. First one. Yeah, it just it, it's a very slight preference, and I think it's all personal. But it just hits it hits the nostalgia tone. Oh, it it, it feels like home. This feels like I'm venturing out. Sweet chaos. Yeah. Yes. Because there's a little more emo, and you know, us emo people like emo songs. <laughs> Meet me where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. It's like drinking something really refreshing that's not water. <laughs> you know, something that's like crisp, like really nice, like limeade or something. Yeah. yeah, and you hear like, sorry, just like the ice cubes like crackling. Where you <laughs> and you drink it, and it's so, so cold, but just so refreshing. That's the kind of feeling I get. Here, I'll make the sound. Yeah, ready? Oh, my nails are so long. Oh, oh, shh. <gasps> Just drink into it, drink into it. <sighs>